Recent storms proving dangerous for a Pompano Beach man in the hospital tonight after being struck by lightning while sitting in his wheelchair. Let's go to local news reporter Sonella Sabovic, who just spoke with the fiance today. And Sonella is live at Jackson Memorial tonight with much more. Sonella. Calvin, this is just a sad story. We spoke to the victim's mother and fiance. They tell us he was simply sitting outside trying to get some fresh air when the unthinkable happened. I want to take you to a picture of the victim. This is 28 year old Nick Williams. His fiance tells us he was underneath a tree in his Pompano Beach neighborhood when he was struck by lightning. He was raced to the hospital in critical condition. He is currently on a ventilator and unconscious. And in this next bit of video, this is from the hospital hospital room. This was actually taken yesterday. Nick was actually showing some movement. He is seen here squeezing his mother's hand and appeared to have opened his eyes. His family obviously taking that as a positive sign. They're remaining hopeful following that encounter. That terrible accident happened Sunday along the 2700 block of West Gulf Road in Pompano Beach. When fire rescue crews arrived, they found Nick unconscious and his wheelchair just burned. His fiance tells me it's been a trying past few days and they're simply taking it day by day. Take a listen. They do believe it hit the tree. He was uh, sitting under the, we were told that the tree was smoldering um, when they, the when they responded and his chair was on fire. And Nick's family has been through a lot. 11 years ago, he was in a very serious car accident that left him wheelchair bound. A few years ago, they tell me he was in that very wheelchair when he was struck by a car. And now they are dealing with this. Again, they're remaining positive and hopeful. They have set up a GoFundMe. If you'd like to help, you can find that on our website, local10.com. For now, that's the very latest here from Jackson Memorial Hospital. Sonella Stabovic, Local 10 News. All right. We uh, hope and prayers for him for sure for a good recovery there.